More users can now download Windows 11 24H2 as Microsoft lifts yet another upgrade block. And this is significant news for those who have been waiting patiently. Because earlier today, Microsoft officially confirmed DRM and HDCP video content playback issues on Windows 11 24H2 with the latest update. And the company has also gone ahead and explained what exactly is causing these problems, giving clarity to millions of users worldwide. However, at the same time, there is good news too, because Microsoft has now removed another safeguard hold, which means compatibility blocks are gradually being lifted. And this signals that the operating system is moving toward wider availability and greater stability. So let's break this down. Compatibility blocks, also called safeguard holds, are essentially placed by Microsoft as a preventive measure to protect users from widespread issues once problems are detected. And they are a common strategy the company uses to avoid massive rollouts of bugs across millions of PCs. So when Microsoft notices an incompatibility, it immediately places a safeguard ID on that update, which prevents the update from automatically being installed on devices that may be affected, giving them time to release fixes. And this time, the company recently lifted a compatibility block related to Dirac Audio, which was a frustrating problem for many. But now the audio software is finally working seamlessly with Windows 11 24H2, which is a relief for both audiophiles and general users. But that is not the only development. In fact, Microsoft has now gone a step further by removing yet another compatibility block, one that was specifically imposed due to a buggy camera app that was affecting not only the camera app itself, but also other applications that relied on it including essential features like Windows Hello for face recognition sign-in. And this means that users who were previously held back by this block can finally proceed to get the much-awaited update. The safeguard ID for the issue was 53340062, and these safeguard IDs are primarily used by IT admins and sysadmins to keep track of current known blocks, making it easier to manage enterprise and personal systems while blindly pushing updates that may disrupt critical workflows. According to Microsoft's official explanation, after installing Windows 11 version 24H2, certain devices could experience problems using the integrated camera in scenarios where object or face detection features were enabled, which as you can imagine impacted not just simple camera usage, but also security features, conferencing tools, and even everyday apps. And this was particularly frustrating for business users and students relying on video conferencing or quick biometric logins. The company wrote specifically that this could include using the camera app, using facial recognition sign-in options with Windows Hello, and other applications that use the integrated camera, which meant the bug was widespread enough to merit block. But now, with the latest update, Microsoft has confirmed that the upgrade block is no longer enforced, and this is fantastic news for those who have been waiting for weeks. That said, the company does caution users to remember that even though the block has been lifted, it can still take up to 48 hours, or two full days, for the 24H2 feature update to appear and become available for download and install on all devices, because these updates are rolled out in phases across different regions and systems. If you're eager to see whether your system is eligible, you can check Microsoft's official health dashboard, where all known issues and safeguard IDs are listed for transparency, and this is where you'll find details of this particular camera-related bug and others that may still exist, but at the moment, it's reassuring to see Microsoft actively addressing problems and removing blocks in quick succession, showing a strong commitment to improving Windows 11 24H2's rollout experience. This is the second block removed in less than two weeks, first with Dirac Audio and now with the Buggy Camera app. And that speed is promising because it means the company is listening to feedback and pushing fixes faster than usual, something users have long been demanding. While some NeoWin4 members like Britt Bronco noted in comments that they were still not able to download and install version 24H2 despite the announcements, this could be due to the gradual nature of the rollout or pending regional propagation delays. But rest assured that once the 48-hour window passes, most eligible users will begin seeing the update in their Windows Update settings. To check manually, simply go to Settings and Windows Update and click Check for Updates, and if it's available, you'll be prompted to download and install version 24H2. For those who want to be extra cautious, waiting for the automatic availability may be better, as it ensures you're receiving the most stable release version tested against your hardware configuration. 
Windows 11 version 24H2 is a highly anticipated update because it brings a series of refinements, optimizations, and security patches. And with the September 2025 rollout gaining momentum, removing these blocks is essential for Microsoft to ensure adoption increases without frustrating users. The removal of compatibility blocks like these demonstrates that while Microsoft's safeguard system may sometimes feel restrictive or slow, it's designed to protect the end user from major bugs and hardware incompatibilities, and once the fixes are verified, the blocks are lifted, leading to smoother adoption rates. Overall, this latest news means we are now one step closer to a fully available Windows 11 24H2 update for everyone. With fewer restrictions, fewer bugs, and a clearer path to stability, and as more safeguard IDs are cleared in the coming weeks, it is likely we will see 24H2 become the most widely adopted and stable version of Windows 11 to date, especially as more users gain access to it and begin upgrading smoothly without major disruptions. So keep an eye on your Windows update notifications and health dashboard updates because the future of Windows 11 24H2 is finally looking brighter and we'll continue to track every change, block, and fix right here, only on Techverse.